Hello Trips and Tuts, Gondor here and welcome back to Let's Play GoldenEye. Last time, we unfortunately got ourselves captured by the Russians. And we also found out that I am very terrible at using throwing knives. And we also met Natalia Fyodorovna, Natalia Sim Simonova, for the first time. And so, all we can do here is to try and escape. And also shoot some Russian Special Forces while we're at it. Jesus, come on. You guys are supposed to be the best of the best of the Russian forces, and you're all getting gunned down by one man. And, and he's a British agent. Alright, any hiding here? Yep. Die. Oh, I'm sorry, did I shoot you in the bottom? <laughs> I just kind of like the way how he just jumped there. Right, I can't pick that armour up. Why can't I pick it up? Hmm, I know. Let's try destroying the box that's that it's on. Nope, still can't pick it up. Oh well. I probably need to lose a certain amount of... Uh, armor first before I can pick it up. Right, let's go this way. I don't think I have. I don't have I been this way. No, I haven't. But I'm pretty sure you can remember this area. This is where we came here from the first uh, time we were here. But there's no alarm here. Now here's the uh, CCTV. But before I pick it up. Look what's on it. It's actually the Golden Eye um, video cover. In fact, let's have a look. Will it show on, on the watch a bit better? Yep, there we are. It's the Golden Eye film cover. Absolutely awesome. I'm, that is a very nice little kind of Easter egg thing. And I'm pretty sure you can remember this area where we dropped down here from, from the first time and the sky looks all dark. Whoa. I, I see you. Yeah, you've really got to be careful if you're playing this on harder difficulties, because I'm pretty sure that um, on harder difficulties, the cameras can spot you quicker, if you're not careful. And the computer room's had a bit of a uh, touch up. Oh, you just blew yourself up. Oh, we got a safe key now. I saw a safe. Right, well, we'll be heading back soon, but before I do go back and get Natalia, I want to clear this place out, because look, soldiers in here as well. So, you don't want to clear out the main part of the building, um, and uh, get Natalia, bring her here, and then you'll have to deal with all these uh, Russian forces. Now this bit's had a bit of a touch up, this is now what looks like the kitchen and I know for a fact that in the film Natalia actually hides in the kitchen where, uh, well when um, Zhenya and Ormov uh, gunned down all the computer programmers in this place. Well, Zhenya's the one who guns them all down. Right, no, no, it's not there, that's where we just were. Right, so let's see how I'm find I'm pretty sure it's back this way somewhere. Is it here? Yeah, here we are. Because if we open up the safe, we get a sal two silence PP7s and a red dossier. Yeah. Dual wielding silence PP7s. Right, Natalia. You're coming with me. I've cleared the place out. Uh, where the hell did you go? Natalia, come on. Yeah, this is now where it starts to get a bit annoying because um, the AI for Natalia can be kind of strange. I mean, look at that, she's walking so slow. Right, come on. Right, which way did we come from? No, it wasn't that way. It was back this way, wasn't it? Ah. Uh. Oh yeah, it was up this way, I think, and then along that way, yeah. Right. 
Miss Simonova, where are you? Come on, Natalia. I need you. You're the only um, computer programmer left. Well, aside from Boris, but God knows where the hell he is. Right, come on. I've cleared the place out full of soldiers so you can do your computer business. Now, Natalia's going to go over to that computer there, so make sure that you don't destroy it. Okay, you can destroy every other computer here if, if you want, but don't destroy this one. Right, Natalia. Oh, there's a timer. Oromov has activated the Golden Eye satellite. It's going to fire on Severnaya. Uh oh. We've got to escape. No, hold on, I just want to check some. No. No, I'm thinking of something else. Natalia! Wait for me! Right, let's go. Don't know how the hell they're gonna get away in time. But. Yeah. Okay, so that's that one done. Oh boy! The Statue Park in St. Petersburg. Objective is here. Contact Valentine. Confront an unmasked Yanis. Locate helicopter. Rescue Natalia. And find flight recorder. Now, I think all these objectives are this are going to be the same no matter what difficulty you're you're playing it on. So there's no added extras. Okay, so Natalia's gone missing. Okay, looks like Yanis wants to meet us in person, so we'll finally get to see who this Yanis is. No gadgets today. And be careful with the chopper, James. Now. Oh, there's uh, Lenin, I think. Lenin's statue. Now, the statue park. This is obviously just like in the film where we actually get to see uh, Yanis. And yes, it's, it's actually pronounced Yanis, not Janis. But you can call it Janis if you want, but Yanis is better because um, Janis is um, female pronunciation. And for anyone, who's, for anyone who's not played this game before or seen the film, I'm going to tell you right now that Yanis is definitely a man. So all we've got is our PP7, no silencer, KF7 Soviet, and that is it. And we're getting shot at from somewhere, over there, and there, PCC, C, hmm, don't know what PCCC means, well, I don't know anything about Russian culture, I've, I've never been over to Russia. Now, this red um, container with the word psycho on it, come around here, and here is Valentin Dmitrovich Zukovsky. Good evening, Mr. Bond. These are strange times. With an ex-KGB agent meeting an MI6 operative in the middle of St. Petersburg? Ha! Huh, I never thought I'd find myself help helping you, but things have changed in Russia. Yanis will meet you by Lenin's statue. Beware him. He's a Lien's Cossack traitor. Now I must leave. The guards are out in force and I fear they may mistake me for a spy. So there we go. That is us. Met, uh, Valentin Dmitrovich Zukovsky, who is actually another Scottish actor in a James Bond film who plays a Russian, just like Alan Cumming who, who plays Boris. Okay, so now we have our destination on where to meet Yanis. There's Lenin's statue. Gonna swap to this. Well, I don't see him. Oh. Let's see, who's Yanis? Good evening, 007. Put the gun away. It's insulting to think I haven't anticipated your every move. That's a good fellow. Now, the reason I'm pausing it here 
is because when Yanis says put your gun away, make sure you do so. Or you can put the gun away before he arrives. If you take your gun out or if you do not put your gun away, you will fail this part of the mission. Okay? Right, let's continue. Alec? You're Yanis? Yes, the MI6 hero back from the dead. But why, Alec? I trusted you. Trust can be misplaced, James. My parents trusted the British government. They were betrayed with all the other Lian's Cossacks. I will have my revenge. What have you done with Natalia? The girl? I've left her at the pirate helicopter at the park gates. We finished with them. I have the golden eye firing key now. By the way, the helicopter's rigged to blow in three minutes. I doubt she'll survive. Okay, now you can bring your gun out. So yes, our old friend Alec Trevelyan is the one and only Yanis. So, how did he survive? Well, his death must have been faked. Okay, I must have shot a grenade or something. Now, this is why I'm saying do not bring your gun out, otherwise you'll fail the mission. Not only will you fail the mission, but these shotguns deal a hell of a lot of damage to you. And there was, what, about four or five of uh, Alex. I mean, look at that. I've lost two blocks of health already. Anyway, so there was about um, four or five, five of um, Alex's um, guards there. So yeah, that would have been pretty deadly. Anyway, let me just check my mission objectives for a minute. Right, locate helicopter rescue and Italian fine flight. Okay. So now we have to go all the way back to the start. And we've got about a minute fifty odd left. And this is kind of um, an annoying level in a way because it can be very easy to get lost. But luckily, I know where I'm going. I hope. Yep, here we are. So here's the helicopter. Yeah, so this is, is the pirate helicopter, I think. Right, Natalia, come on. The, the time has been quickly shortened. Quickly, this way. The helicopter's about to explode. So yeah, so that helicopter that I destroyed in the surface with the mine was not the pirate. Take out these guys. Wait. I have to find a helicopter flight recorder. Wait for me at the gates. Now, I kind of like how that these uh, names on the gates say BJ. Which is kind of like, I suppose, reference to James Bond if you do it backwards. Now, the helicopter's flight recorder. It doesn't go very far. It, it actually hides somewhere within these sets of uh, stat. Well, not within the statues, but somewhere around them. All you're looking for is something, some kind of orange box. So it shouldn't be that hard to find. So you don't have to go looking all over the statue part for it. Oh, there it's. Okay, and now let's quickly make our way back to the gates. Oh, but there's some guys here. Now, whatever you do, do not shoot these guys. Ah, Mr. Bond, I see you've taken it up upon yourself to living in St. Petersburg. Blowing up helicopters, shooting guards, quite a jolly little, jolly little soiree. Well, it's time to stop now before any more people get hurt. I'd like to ask you and Miss Simonova some questions about the Severnaya incident. Perhaps you'd care to lead the way to Military Intelligence HQ? Yes, well, we're going to have to do that in the next video, so I shall see you guys then.